if you can use your your grief Platform. and you can sort of cope help with people. it and help other people mm. then that's amazing yeah. yeah so on a little bit of a serious note it's quite a hard topic to talk about but there's been a few things in the press recently that sort of made me think about grief mm. and how we all grieve differently mm. and is there a correct way people deal with it dif different i get yeah. that but yeah. personally I don't think you should be going straight on social media to air out everything that's just happened. Mm. I know if I've lost someone, I'm not jumping on social media. Mm. I'll, I'll have to take a break because mm. mentally I'm not going to be able to face just it. yeah face it, cope with it. But people are different, don't they? Some that helps some people though, doesn't yeah. it? When they post it and they have all these people, random people messaging them that they don't know. I've experienced people's deaths that I'm not necessarily hugely close to, mm. but I've known them, and there's a point in time on social media where if you haven't posted mm. it then becomes that you're wrong yeah do you know what i mean it's like mm. this now like it's like not a competition but people think you're bad so when caroline passed mm -hmm. i literally broke down it was horrendous mm. didn't post for a while yeah so then and people then people like, then said to me why haven't you posted why haven't you crazy. said anything yeah. and i'm like it's so hard to know whether to say something or to not say something yeah and i think because we're the public say, eye yeah and you don't want to say the wrong thing when i've had people that i'm not as close to but have known them when i posted on social media it felt like a way of speaking to them, putting it out there, and they're, yeah, they're yeah, reading yeah. it. And that, it's yeah. like you release something. Like, there is different parts of grieving. Some people can just be emotionless. When I went through me, me breakup, I, I actually felt like I was grieving. You was in a bad way. Yeah, I was in a way. bad way. And like, yeah. I dealt with that really like badly. There's mm. no right and wrong way, but no. the way I dealt with it was like, I was just so broken. It was like I'd mm. lost someone. Like, But it is, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, like I've lost family members and I've lost friends and stuff before. and. I've never really dealt with it in the way that I did with the breakup. Mm. It was bizarre. Like, did you kick out? Yeah, like, like I was just like so emotional. Like even speaking about the person, yourself, I was like, just like mm. just crying. I just couldn't believe it. Like I felt like that person had just died. Yeah, mm. but when you have a breakup, you are with, say you're with that person constantly, mm. and then for them to just and leave your life, yeah, that is grief. Isn't yeah, it? Like hugely. You can yeah. grieve a lifestyle. You can grieve a person. Mm. Yeah. Oh God, I'm the worst of animals. The yeah. worst. Like you, the can, honestly, the you worst. can grieve over an animal as hugely. well. You know, like how you said you had a bit of a mad moment. You were, like emotional. I would kick out. Like mm. I'd misbehave. I'd go out constantly. I yeah. kind of like self sabotage yeah. myself. Mm -hmm. So you're kind of making your life worse because you just can't be bothered. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, but then yeah, of course. there's just stages, isn't there, in grief? And you yeah. find you go through them. And I guess some people are at different stages depending on when it happens. It is the social media thing, it's weird. Because have you seen the Chrissy Teigen yeah, losing which, her baby? God help her, yeah, when that like, first happened, I think when I seen it, I got such a big shock that it was yeah. so intimate. Mm. And I've never really seen anything yeah. like that especially from a celebrity as well. It's yeah. like, I seen it, I was like, oh my God, like, it, it, should I be looking? I felt like yeah, I was yeah. invading her own privacy, but she put it out there, didn't she? Yeah. So I was shocked at that, to be fair. But like I said, people grieve differently. But I, personally, me, if that happened to me, oh, I, I would just, I, you wouldn't see me for a long time. Yeah. I would literally be, I've got shivers thinking of it. But that is that her way of grieving then? That's what I mean. And you can't judge the, the comments that she was for receiving, honestly horrendous. Giving her death threats for oh, grieving over her See, that's baby. another thing. I wouldn't want to post a picture like that because I wouldn't be able to them. cope mentally mm. with them comments. Yeah, maybe yeah. she doesn't look. At yeah. that point in time as well. Yeah. yeah. But yeah. that again, that's her coping mechanism. Yeah. But now I um, follow people like Marlin, who lost yeah. her baby. Yeah. And she is helping, she spread awareness, oh my yeah. God, so many people. And I think if you can use your, your grief, Platform and you can sort of cope help with people. it and help other people, mm. then that's amazing. Yeah. yeah. yeah if, Chrissy, if that was what Chrissy was doing, you know, hats yeah. off to her. The thing is, when you are grieving, it is, it's better when you feel like there's a lot of support. Mm. You know, like say maybe people are going through the same thing, or if you've lost a family member, you know you've got your other family to support you. Mm. So even if you feel like, you know, something happened, like a miscarriage and Marlon's given the support, mm. then it'll probably help other yeah, people hugely. go through it, yeah. that they've got like that yeah. sort of team around them. So mm. yeah, it can work in both ways, can't it? <laughs>